So, uh, first of all, I think uh, Indian smartphone market uh, is the second biggest market uh, globally and there's uh, already a lot of co competition. The smartphone market in India is very commoditized and uh, to explain that, a lot of people are, when they buy handsets, uh, within a few months they realize oh, that their handsets has become obsolete. So, you know, you buy a phone with two cameras and within three to six months you have a device with three cameras or you have a phone which is uh, three GB RAM it, uh, the, you, within the same price you have a phone which is 4 GB, so market is very, very commoditized and in this market the Nokia smartphones are really differentiated in multiple aspects. First of all, we offer an ad-free, hassle-free Android experience with no bloatware, so therefore you don't get to see any ads when you are using your phones, which is there in all our competitor devices, number one. Number two, we offer two years of operating system upgrade. So if you are buying your phone with Android 13, we get Android 14 and the next Android version uh, in the lifetime of your device. And you, uh, we offer monthly security update for the next three years. And finally, we offer something which nobody else offers, which is a replacement guarantee on all our C-series devices, which means that if there's any hardware complaint on our phone, we do not repair the device, we just replace the device. So therefore, I see there's going to be as, the Indian smartphone ma market is going to be as competitive as it, as it has been, but the Nokia smartphones are very clearly differentiated in this competitive market. So I think uh, chasing affordability is very, very important objective in the smartphone space, especially in 5G. And uh, I believe one is the capital expenditure. What is the upfront expenditure that consumers are making while buying a 5G phone? And this is very, very important aspect. And I think over here we need to consider that the cost of the 5G chipsets is expensive as compared to 4G chipsets. Similarly, there are more components related to radio frequency and which are used in uh, 5G and therefore uh, it's important that, uh, you know, to, it's important to understand that the 5G handsets cost is going to be more expensive for rest of the specs being the same as compared to 4G. But I think affordability be, needs to be looked at from multiple angles and the upfront cost is one. Secondly, I think we need to look at the ecosystem play. Today, more than 50 to 60 percent of the handsets are being sold on financing, right? So you are upfront, let's say you're buying a 20,000 rupees handset, you are upfront maybe only paying 5,000 rupees and balance you'll be paying over, you know, EMIs. And therefore, this point on having 5G handsets and tying up with uh, different uh, financing partners and making it more affordable uh, for, the, uh, for the consumer. Similarly, some overall ecosystem play including telco play, some uh, other apps play and what can we do in terms of value added services for our consumers is something which helps people realize maximum value from their devices. And the last point on this affordability piece is around the lifetime of the device. Not just lifetime value but the lifetime of the device and we believe, we believe that when you are buying a Nokia smartphone, you get two years of operating system upgrades and we offer three years of monthly security updates, therefore increasing the lifetime value. So you can use your phone both from a hardware and a software point of view. You can use your phone for much longer, right? And that is something which uh, we believe increases the overall lifetime value and it's another way to look at affordability. I think we need to look at innovations not only just in terms of network, which of course is 5G, but also in terms of the real benefit. We need to look at what our consumer really looking for and what are the real benefits that we can offer to the consumers. We believe that first of all, you know, innovative features like more battery life, not just more battery power on your battery, but more battery life. For example, three days of battery is something that uh, we have uh, recently launched uh, on our G series devices. I think this is going to play a very, very important role. Similarly, uh, the overall experience of using the device. For example, again, I mentioned, the, especially in the below sub 10K devices, the hassle-free, ad-free Android experience, which means that when you buy the device, you have the peace of mind. You don't see any ads popping out of your phone all the time. This is again, very, very important feature. Similarly, good camera quality and good imaging experience and how well is your camera integrated along with your processor, with the, the AI powered software and how well are your images, especially in low light and uh, in dark conditions, nighttime imaging, uh, you know, portrait mode in the selfie camera. Some of these uh, imaging uh, related capabilities are something which consumers would be looking for. So I think these are uh, some of the important, uh, important uh, factors which uh, people would be looking for, both in terms of software as well as in hardware. Yes, so I think this is very, again, very important factor. We are closely working with the uh, 
uh, in our R&D team and along with our partners to see how we can uh, make better the overall device experience, whether it is in terms of uh, three days of battery life, which we have recently ordered, offered, then in terms of uh, at uh, the smartphone entry level devices, which is, you know, we have recently launched a device at price point of 5999, which offered an octa core processor and has 2 GB of virtual RAM. Therefore, if you already have 2 GB of RAM, it becomes 4 GB of RAM and then along with the octa core processor, it offers a very smooth user experience and that is something that uh, we are really proud of. Similarly, in the 5G devices, we have launched a device uh, which uh, in my view has the best low, dying, low, light low light imaging capabilities and it also comes with the sustainable material, right? So sustain, we are driving sustainability which means that we are trying to offer smartphones to our consumers without costing the earth and which are environment friendly which means that they are not only made of sustainable materials but we offer three operator system upgrades which means that the device can be used for longer period of time thus increases the lifetime of the device and the lifetime value of the device. Thanks, uh, I think the event has been fantastic. I am so excited uh, uh, to be interacting with all of these, uh, all of the people who are here, who are from different, uh, you know, parts of the industry, different uh, ecosystem players uh, who I have, I have interacted with and all of them have different perspectives on how 5G is going to be evolving, what is going to be the consumer perspective, what is the value that the consumer see, what is the value that enterprise see and uh, getting this perspective from different uh, ecosystem players is really enriching and uh, insightful.